Hello, I'm meteorologist Bruce Jones with Midland Radio Corporation in Kansas City, Missouri. Thank you for stopping by our virtual booth for EMEX 2020. Glad to have you here. As the name implies, Midland Radio is a radio manufacturing corporation. We've been in business since 1959. We produce devices that utilize the radio frequency and these are good ones. These are lifesavers. On the left side of your screen are NOAA weather radios, the desktop models, the WR120, the WR400. On the right side of your screen, those emergency crank radios represent five of the items that you should have in an emergency go kit. AM radio, FM radio, NOAA weather radio, a super bright Cree flashlight, and the ability to recharge your smartphone. So those five item red radios, those emergency crank radios, are very popular, especially for hurricane evacuation go kits and wildfire evacuation go kits. In the center of your screen, FRS, GMRS, walkie talkies, which can be used by your citizen volunteer groups, and I'll have more information on that here in just a moment. Uh, as you recall, back in 2006 and 2007, the federal government supplied a free NOAA weather radio to every public and private school in America, and the majority of them got this one, the good old trusty WR100. Well, these radios in our schools are now 13 years old, and they need to be replaced. I wish there was federal money to do that. There's not, so we've got to come up with county state and school board money but these radios need to be replaced the picture that i have on the screen i actually took up in pilger nebraska that's after they were hit by those twin tornadoes and the town of pilger was really wrecked and racked hard but we went up there with the salvation army out of omaha we programmed and gave away free weather radios to every citizen in that county and let me tell you they were very very happy to get those it's peace of mind for just pennies a day but our schools need to have multiple and redundant ways of getting weather alerts. It's great to have the cell phones, but you need to have that NOAA weather radio as well. And those weather radios in your public and private schools are in need of being replaced. Please get with your school boards, get with your county commissioners, talk to your people and see what you can do to get that money together to get those radios replaced. I don't care what brand you buy, but those radios in our public and private schools need to be refreshed and replaced. We also have some great things for you if you work with CERT teams. Um, you know, the CERT volunteers do such fantastic work and a lot of you have other volunteer groups in neighborhoods. Uh, we suggest that they have these ER210 and ER310 emergency crank radios in their go kit. But here at EMEX 2020, we're debuting a brand new product, and that is the ER10 VP. And here's one of them right here. And just to show you the size of this, it easily fits behind my palm. It's truly a palm size AM, FM, weather, and super bright LED flashlight. Palm size, so it fits in your pocket. It fits in a go kit and it's very, very affordably priced. So we really came out with this one to give an option to your volunteers and to anybody who wants to have a safety and survival radio in their pocket at a reduced cost. These will be available starting in early 2021 and we're very excited for them. This is the ER10 VP. Now, another thing with your CERT teams, you know, if you can get them to purchase these walkie-talkie radios from any manufacturer, this is a great way to communicate when you're in the field. They're easy. It's one button, button operation. You push to talk. You let go to listen. Doesn't require a whole lot of training, and people can remember to use these even if they haven't picked them up in five or six months. So I highly recommend these walkie-talkie radios, these FRS, GMRS radios. And no matter what brand of these radios your people buy, if you'll get an MXT 440 watt transmitter and put that transmitter in your vehicle, when you key that microphone, you'll be able to talk to almost all of the FRS GMRS radios in your county. The distance that that signal travels at 40 watts of power is phenomenal. And we've gotten such great feedback from emergency managers who have used these and are just blown away by the communications capabilities. So put the CERT people in charge of purchasing their own walkie-talkie radios, any brand of FRS, GMRS radio. You purchase 
one of these MXT 440 watt FRS GMRS transmitters receivers and you'll be able to key that microphone and just about everyone will be able to hear you. It's a great opportunity for you to be able to communicate with these volunteer groups at low cost to your county because you just need to buy the MXT unit. Let the CERT volunteers and your community volunteers buy their uh, walkie-talkies and they can buy any brand that they like. Again, I thank you for stopping by the Midland booth. I have my email address down here at the bottom of your screen. If you have any questions or if you'd like to talk, uh, my specialty is NOAA weather radio. So as a meteorologist, I've been following this uh, severe weather stuff and disaster stuff all my life, and I enjoy hearing from you. If there are any questions that I can answer for you, please don't hesitate to reach out to me by email. I always answer. Thank you for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the virtual EMEX 2020, and I hope to see you in Grand Rapids in 2021.